when it comes to bad movies, I would consider myself somewhat of a veteran. From a sentient tire with psychic powers to Ron Jeremy's penis breaking off and going on a killing spree to a giant sperm humping the Statue of Liberty to two movies about a bed that eat people and to all six Sharknado movies and both Birdemic films. I'm a scarred movie soldier and I've seen some shit. So bracing myself, I charged into Killer Sofa. But is this Barker in Stonehouse or Ikea? Advertised as a comedy horror, because logically it had to be, right? Let me clarify and tell you, this is a lie. This New Zealand made movie about a killer sofa, no literal killer sofa, is played very straight. There is no comedy, and that in itself doomed the film to fail. I mean, okay, if it had been comedic, it likely still would have been terrible, but I'd imagine it would have had at least been a smidge better. So, plot. There is, get this, a sofa. Well, it's less of a sofa and more of a lounger, as it's just a small one-seater. So, yeah, an immediate fuck up there. The sofa has buttons at the back to make it look like it has eyes, which might be creepy if it were, you know, not a feckin' chair. Anyway, the plot is pretty much non-existent. The sofa proceeds to kill people. Stop laughing, I'm being serious. It kills them in a number of ways, including killing them with its extendable springs, for some reason. The kills, however, are dreadful. Off-screen and dodgy camera-type ones to make up for the lack of budget. As I've said before, the kills are essential for a horror movie, so why they'd pull this shit is beyond me. Anyway, this lounger kills a few people. The cast are terrible, the plot is non-existent, there are zero laughs, you simply cannot take the antagonist seriously, and it's so bad it doesn't even enter the realms of novelty value. A killer sofa, you think? That'll at least be original. I assure you, it's not worth it. Then it hits you with a twist at the end, which, when you stop and think about it, based on everything you've already seen, it makes absolutely no sense at all. Had they played it slightly differently, it could have redeemed the film. Slightly. But instead, it kills it outright. If you go into a movie named Kill a Sofa and expect something good, you're a fool. I award Kill a Sofa a 2 out of 10. So, rant time. I was on IMDb. I use the site simply as reference these days, and I won't rant about my dealings with them or CEO Col Needham. <clears throat> Fuck you, Col. But as you can imagine, a movie like this doesn't have a vast amount of content on its page. No trivia, no goofs, no connections. Only two of the casts even have photos on their on their profiles, so well, let's just say this, the height of its contributions are the keywords. Wait, no, keyword singular. That's right, some kind soul had added a keyword and it's girl. Yep, one keyword for the movie and it's the word girl. I don't know if this is a further highlight of the incompetence of the IMD contributors, or how there is such little to say about this clusterfuck of a movie. So, what did you think of Killer Sofa? What's the weirdest film you've seen? Does a one-seater constitute as a sofa? Tell me in the comments below, like this video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Later, folks, and uh, watch where you sit.